So I've been playing around with a really fun little uh, toy design uh, that's been around for quite a while. I know at least since the uh, 1970s. Uh, it's called a wobbler. Uh, these are just uh, two discs that I laser cut. Um, and they have two little notches in them and they kind of go together at right angles. Um, I just welded them with some acrylic solvent. Um, and they're designed so that the centers are exactly root two times the radius apart. Uh, which gives them a very interesting property. Assuming that they're infinitesimally thin, which they're not, but they're close enough that you get a still really cool effect, uh, the center of mass will actually stay the same height um, relative to the table surface. And if the table surface is flat, then uh, it basically remains the same potential energy, uh, which means that the kinetic energy uh, shouldn't change, assuming you're not getting any losses from the like, heat with the table or sound or air resistance or whatever, but um, yeah, it's a really cool effect and uh, I wasn't having it work for me perfectly before, but let's see if we can uh, get it to go right now. So I'm just going to give this a little uh, blow. Okay, and that's probably going to wind up hitting my vice, but you'll see it's rolling uh, pretty well. And, oh, oh, it got past my vice, good. Um, and yeah, it just keeps rolling and rolling, just like a cylinder would. Um, and again, it, it's not perfect, so you see it's finding some equilibriums right there, some stable equilibriums. Uh, they're very small, and that's mainly because it's resting on the edge of contact right there. Let's get some focus in here. Uh, yeah. Um, but, uh, assuming if I rounded these, or if I uh, made them infinitesimally thin somehow, or even closer to that, it would be an even better effect. So let me see if I can do that again for you guys. Let's see if that was a hard enough blow to, uh, get it to go all the way across the table. And this is like, you know, gone across the entire table right now. It's a really, really cool effect. Um, but yeah, so um, this is called a wobbler, and it's a really cool demonstration of how if potential energy doesn't change, total energy um, remains conserved. Um, as for the design, I'm going to see about making some like wooden ones so that I can see about rounding the edges and make it so that even if it has a small change of potential energy, it has ideally an unstable equilibrium and it'll keep rolling more or less. I don't know. Um, and uh, I'm also going to be uh, doing another design that I made in 3D, 3D printing, that basically it's, it's a design that I copied, but I still recreated it in SolidWorks. Uh, basically has some lofts between two circles and that means that they can have infinitely thin edges. Um, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I think this is just a really cool toy. It took me maybe like five minutes to design um, and then, you know, two minutes to laser cut and put together. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Let me just do it again because it's just so fun to watch. Oh, that's gonna hit my computer. Let's try again. There we go. That's still probably gonna hit something, but uh, I don't know, it's just fun to watch it. Just go and go and go. Uh, yeah, so a uh, really simple idea, a little bit of math to work it out. If you want to know how the uh, math actually works out, you can go ahead and check out a uh, number file video called Wobbler Math, or I, I think, I don't know, I'll put a link in the annotations right now, but uh, yeah, I'm going to put this on Thingiverse in addition to the uh, 3D printed design that I'm going to probably make a video on at some point. Really cool toy, probably good for physics professors, and uh, just, I don't know, just fun to have on your desk, I guess. Anyways, uh, that's it. See ya.